Hey Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate your viewership, engagement, likes, comments, subscriptions. All right, Sagittarius, Twin Flame Tuesday. What do you need to know about your connection? What's going on? Hmm, Sagittarius, I just have to say this. Let me do my spell first. All right, this could be past, present, or future energy. Could also be someone else in your energy field. Flip it if you need to. Only take what's yours, leave the rest with someone else. Could be past, present, or future energy. Now, let's get into this. Let me just tell y'all what I'm channeling inside. I, I'm not even going to worry about so much um, pulling the cards first. I just want to say either you or the person you're connected to have been moving at different paces. Y'all been on two different pages. Somebody wants more sooner <laughs> than the other person all right and it may be causing some friction here all right so let's get into your channel song of the day i get lonely by janet jackson the one the only all right one of the best torians that one of the best tourists that ever tourist <laughs> all right so somebody's lonely and then we have your shadow and light message of the day. Slow and steady wins debates. And this is your own energy, Sagittarius. So this could be the way you feel. Um, this is the temperance in reverse. This is someone involved needs to slow down. Take time off. You may be fighting due to someone's needs not being met or due to someone juggling. Someone feels neglected. And then it says deciding to start showing up more. So I do feel like some conversations are taking place about the amount of time you spend or the quality of the time that you spend with your person, either from your perspective or theirs. Someone feels lonely. Let's get into this. It's like this person doesn't want anyone but you. Want no one but you. That's what she says in the song. I didn't realize that. Want no one but you. Okay, where is... Thank you, Spirit. We're going to take whatever that. Oh, no. No, we ain't taking that. That just came out. I'm not taking that because mm -mm. <laughs> that ain't the energy I'm picking up. This card wants to come out. I'm going to take it because that fell up right the first time. We have renewal, number 27. Some of you could be 27 years old or dealing with someone who is. Regeneration begins with decay. Oh, wow. So this is basically like um, almost like a tower moment, like something falling apart so that it can come back better. It's saying that renewal begins, regeneration begins with decay. So sometimes things have to die out, like the fire, the passion, the flame has to die out so that you can reignite it. Let's see what's going on. Definitely feel somebody missing the other person. So you may not be communicating or may not be seeing each other as much as you want to. We have, I, I am always here for you. Okay. Some of you are dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I'm not the same person. See, somebody's changing. Somebody is starting to decide to show up more. That's what it says here. After neglecting you or you neglecting them. I wasn't planning on having anything, anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Did you get that the other day? Who was it? Oh, was that Aries? That might have been Aries. They got that. Um, the person wasn't looking for love and they ended up falling in love. It may have been you. I think it was Aries. It might not have even been Aries. Okay, so look, somebody wasn't making the investment here. They could have been moving really slow for the other person. I told you that because they weren't planning to fall in love. But I can't deny I'm falling in love with you. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you. And then we have there is no one else thinking about you all day. See, want no one but you. That's your energy. You, this is who you want. This is who you want. Flip it if you need to. Okay, I'm always here for you. Some of y'all like to cook or your person likes to cook and you like their food or y'all eat out a lot together. Something about y'all eating together. Wow. I'm always here for you. Somebody feels like they dropped the ball. Could be a Scorpio. Some of you could be on a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Let's see get one more. The star. They feel like it can heal. The connection can heal after going through some, some sadness, loneliness. I get lonely. That's what this card is. Feeling like isolated and, you know, alienated and left out in the cold. Like somebody just kind of like discarded you, like you don't even matter. Hmm. It says, feel your grief, but know that things will get better. And that's clarified by all your dreams are coming true. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio, or you can have those placements. I'm not the same person. So somebody is changing. 
The star card is all about healing and optimism and, you know, repairing a relationship, looking over the relationship we have went wrong in the past and deciding that, you know, we've been through a lot, but we're going to keep on pushing because you're the one I want. I'm not the same person. Wow. We had secrets, Pisces or Cancer. Wow. Six of Pentacles. Now they want to give equally to you. Things were vague before. Now they want to be crystal clear about where you two stand. They want to take care of you and be fair with you and have balance in the in a relationship here. Someone that may be bringing you a gift. Um, the moon could talk about somebody having past traumas or illusions or secrets. Something wasn't showing up here and now this person wants to show up. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met. You could be done with a Taurus to cancel all the Pisces there. Look at this. They see you as a soulmate, cancer energy. I'm falling for you. Yep. And they've been thinking about you a lot, a Libra or a cancer here. They've been thinking about the fact that you it feels different with you. And they actually want a commitment with you. They want to bring equally to the table. They're seeing you as their other half. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you. What's going on here? So it fell apart so it can come back together better. Knight of Cups, they're coming back with a romantic proposal. Some of them may be asking you to marry them, move in together, let's make it official. Whatever the next logical step is for you two is what they're wanting. You have all this, you know, a lot of cups here. A lot of emotions. Queen of Pentacles. This person is trying to secure the bag. They want to be able to offer you something. This is somebody that wants to cater to you. Because baby, this is your day. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There's no one like you thinking about you all day. Yeah, and they're feeling really, really bad. Gemini energy with the Ten of Swords. They feel like they let you down. They feel like it's, it's over and they're really distraught about it. Whether you believe that or not, that's what they feel. That's what the card is saying. But things are going to um, slowly come back together. There is some healing taking place. Or there will be in the future. What well, feels like the very near future, in fact. Let's get some of my own oracle cards. What do they want to say? Juicy fruit. Oh. So there's a lot of sexual chemistry and energy between you. They feel like you're a good lover. Some of y'all sexy, y'all thick. All right, if you're a masculine, you take care of your body, you cut up. They like the way that you look. They feel you're very compatible. They have an extreme sexual attraction to you and you satisfy them in every way. They feel like it's a fruitful connection in every way. Again, nobody else compared. When they went out here, Sagittarius, they're like, what am I doing? What does it say? There is no one else. Yeah. <laughs> you might find looks. You might find sex. You might find whatever. But do you find all of them together? Summer solstice. Something could be happening this summer. You are dealing with a cancer or a Gemini for some of you. June 21st could be relevant. Could be someone's birthday. It says culmination, achievement, success, happiness. You may be feeling particularly lucky and in love or soon will be. Your confidence is at an all-time high and things are going well. Be optimistic about your love life. The star. Be optimistic. So this summer is where the magic going to happen for a lot of y'all. Maybe even sooner. Or for some of you, maybe even later. I mean, time is fluid. It's an illusion. Everything has already happened that's going to happen. That's the thing you don't understand about life. All right, we have prison break. Release from mental or physical jail. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Someone has a new perspective here. Heavy on a Gemini. So this feeling here, and them being in their head here, thinking about you, they get a breakthrough. Thinking about you all day is what it says. And they are. Somebody could have even gotten counseling. This is your soulmate. Spirit has spoken. Bottom of the deck, we have status. Goal oriented. Love is in the wait. Love is on the back burner for now and give it time. Yeah, remember, I told y'all they want to make a proposal to you, but they're securing the bag right now because they want to cater to you and take care of you. They want to put you in a lap of luxury. That's somebody that wants to introduce you to the finer things, give you a good life, pamper you, spoil you. Treat you like a queen. All right, y'all. Let's get some advice for you and close this out. Oh, yeah, spirit. Third party situation. There's a third party interfering with your relationship. This can be a literal rival or people gossiping. Family and friends may try to influence your relationship. Well, I do feel like what the third party was was this person maybe juggling. I don't necessarily feel like it's with another person for a lot of you, but we do have the moon card here, which talks about secrets. They're saying they're not the same person anymore, though. So they, they're walking away from if they were being a player 
and also things are being illuminated here this person sees you as the one that they actually want to build with all right so this third party situation feels very much mental a lot of swords came out don't think it's necessarily another human being but it could be whatever the case they out of here because something has crumbled and decayed so something new can be regenerated all right all right y'all like the video subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment if this resonated peace y'all